Right, this one is a bit gruesome, and I'm not sure I completely approve of it, but it's Cinderella. Uh, right, Cinderella. I guess you think you know this story. You don't. The real one's much more gory. The phony one, the one you know, was cooked up years and years ago and made to sound all soft and sappy just to keep the children happy. Mind you, they got the first bit right, the bit where in the dead of night, the ugly sisters, jewels and all, desert departed for the palace ball, while darling little Cinderella was locked up in a slimy cellar where rats who wanted things to eat began to nibble at her feet. She bellowed, help and let me out! The magic fairy heard her shout. Appearing in a blaze of light, she said, my dear, are you all right? All right, Chris, Cindy, can't you see? I feel as rotten as can be. She beat her fist against the wall and shouted, get me to the ball. There is a disco at the palace. The rest have gone and I am jealous. I want a dress, I want a coach, and earrings and a diamond brooch. And silver slippers, two of those, and lovely nylon pantyhose. Done up like that, I'll guarantee the handsome prince will fall for me, the fairy said. I'm going to tick. She gave her wand a mighty flick, and quickly, in no time at all, Cindy was at the palace ball. It made the ugly sisters wince to see her dancing with the prince. She held him tight and pressed, held him very tight and pressed herself against his manly chest. The prince himself was turned to pulp. All he could do was gasp and gulp. Oh, that's a fairy princess. Fairy godmother. <clears throat> and then midnight struck. She shouted, Eck! I've got to run to save my neck. The prince cried, No, alas, alack. He grabbed the dress to hold her back as Cindy shouted, Let me go. The dress was ripped from head to toe. She ran out in her underwear and lost one slipper on the stair. The prince was on it like a dart. He pressed it to his pounding heart. The girl the slipper fits, he cried. Tomorrow morn shall be my bride. I'll visit every house in town until I've tracked the maiden down. Then rather carelessly, I fear, he placed it on a crate of beer. At once, one of the ugly sisters, the one whose face was blotched and blistered, sneaked up and grabbed the dainty shoe and blushed it down the loo. Then in its place she calmly put the slipper from her own left foot. Aha, you see the plot grows thicker and Cindy's look starts looking sicker. Next day, the prince went charging down to knock on all the doors in town. In every house the tension grew. Who was the owner of the shoe? The shoe was long and very wide. A normal foot got lost inside. Also, it smelled a wee bit icky. The owner's feet were hot and sticky. Thousands of eager people came to try it on, but all in vain. Now came the ugly sisters go. One tried it on. The prince screamed, no! But she screamed, yes, it fits, whoopee! So now you've got to marry me. The prince went white from ear to ear. He muttered, let me out of here. Oh, no, you don't. You made a vow. There's no way you can back out now. Off with her head, the prince rode back. They chopped it off with one big whack. This is not OK, is it? This is not, this is not nice. This pleased the prince. He smiled and said, she's prettier without her head. Then up, the sister, sister, and up came sister number two who yelled, no, I will try the shoe. Try this instead, the prince yelled back. He swung his trusty sword and smack. Her head went crashing to the ground. It bounced a bit and rolled around. In the kitchen, peeling spuds, Cinderella heard the thuds of bouncing heads upon the floor and poked her own head round the door. What's all the racket? Cindy cried. Mind your own biz, the prince replied. Poor Cindy's heart was torn to shreds. My prince, she thought, he chops off heads. How could I marry anyone who does that sort of thing for fun? The prince cried, who's this dirty? I 
I'm not even going to say this word, by the way, because that is not appropriate. Roald Dahl should be ashamed of himself. Off with her head. Off with her nut. Just then, all in a blaze of light, the magic fairy hove in sight. Her magic wand went swoosh and swish. Cindy, she cried, come make a wish. Wish anything and have no doubt that I will make it come about. Cindy answered, oh, kind fairy, this time I shall be more wary. No more princes, no more money. I've had my, I've had my taste of honey. I'm wishing for a decent man. They're hard to find, you think you can. Within a minute, Cinderella was married to a lovely fella, a simple jam maker by trade who sold good homemade marmalade. Their house was filled with smiles and laughter and they were happy ever after. There you go.